Welcome to this tutorial on creating questions within Oracle Clinical. In our last uh, session, we talked about the process of creating discrete value groups as a part of creating an entire case report form within Oracle Clinical. We discussed that a case report form is broken down into various CRF objects, including data collection instruments or DCIs, data collection modules or DCMs, question groups, which are a group of questions that are collected together on a CRF, questions being made up of open-ended questions and closed-ended questions, where closed-ended questions have a bunch of predefined values associated with them, known as discrete value groups. So in our last uh, session, we created the four discrete value groups, which included the unit of height, the unit of weight, the unit of temperature, and the response to the body system, which had its values of normal, abnormal, and not examined. We activated these discrete value groups using the global library subsystem, discrete value groups, first created them in the provisional mode, and then activated them in the maintain mode. Now that we have activated discrete value groups, in this uh, tutorial, we'll be talking about the process of creating questions from a case report form with an Oracle Clinical. So let's get started. To create questions with an Oracle Clinical, we go into the global library, questions module, provisional questions submodule. Click on the provisional questions submodule to open the maintain provisional questions form. Here we'll create the questions that are there as a part of the case report form and have been annotated. The first question is the height of the subject. Its annotated label is HT. So you're going to pick up the values or the, the name of the question as the annotated names. Just like we created for DVGs, we use the annotated CRF names. Here also we are going to use the annotations from the case report form to create these CRF objects. So height is HT. We'll add our initials at the end of it to make it unique. The domain is the training domain, which we are, it's the same domain that we created the, uh, the, the discrete value groups in. The status is provisional, which is uh, all right because we are creating it in a provisional mode so that we can make changes to it later on if required. The medical evaluation type is the CRF for which we are creating these questions. In this case, we are creating them for the physical examination CRF. So we'll select that from a list, list of values and move on. The intent of the question describes a little bit about the question itself. So here the question HT, which has been identified in Oracle Clinical as HT. The intent just describes that question. And in most cases, you can just pick the intent as the label of, of, uh, of the question itself. So here, this is the height of the subject. That's the intent. It's used to collect. This question is used to collect the height of the subject. Now the question type. There can be different types of questions depending upon whether they collect, uh, whether the response to those questions are characters or numbers or dates or times. So there can be different types of question types. In this case, the question type is a number because the height of the subject will be a numerical response. So here from a list of values, whenever it's a number, choose from the question type as non-lab. Once you've chosen that, move forward and the question data type populates as number. So for numerical responses, the question, if the question collects numerical responses, the question type is non-lab and the question data type is number. Then you have to define the length of expected response. In this case, the length of the expected response is five characters or five uh, digits with two decimal places, right? So here the expected uh, decimal places is two. This, this is important because if when you are defining that within Oracle Clinical at this stage while creating questions, during the process of data entry, the data that is being entered is going to be validated against these criteria. So if the length of the question over here is specified, length of expected response for this question is specified as five as per the CRF and decimal places is specified as two. In this case, when the data is entered for this question, for any patient uh, with an Oracle Clinical, it will be validated to see whether the length of response to that question is five digits or not, and whether the maximum number of decimal places is two. And if not, a discrepancy will be raised for this scenario. 
So these attributes that we define for a question allow for the validation of data that is collected as a part of a clinical study. Right, so here the length is five digits, decimal places is two, which we've defined over here. Now, once I extract this que uh, question into a third party analytic system such as SAS, then it has to be, there has to be a name that will be given for this question when extracted within SAS. Just like in Oracle Clinical, we are identifying it by a unique name, HT underscore triple Z. In SAS also, it has to be identified with a unique name. So we can just use a combination here of the SAS of the U of the question name followed by the initials. It has to be a maximum of six characters. That is the only limitation here. You can use any name, but it has to be unique. So basically it has to be unique. And that's why we're just using a combination of our question name and our initials. The, the label of the question, which is uh, the intent of the question within SAS uh, is populated from the intent field automatically. So nothing needs to be done there. Then the next step after this is to uh, now extract macros and question sets are no, no longer used because extract macros were typically used to extract the questions for data analytics. But in this case, SAS already does that job. So extract macros are no longer used and question sets are replaced by question groups, which we'll talk about shortly. So it's just going to skip out that those two fields, they are not required to be entered. If you mark a question to be safety question, then the data for this question is synchronized with the safety database such as Argus safety or adverse event reporting system or whatever safety database that you're actually using that's integrated with Oracle Clinical. And the data for this question is then transmitted to the regulatory authorities if an a serious adverse event occurs. So for adverse event questions, the questions will be marked as safety questions. For the physical examination, these are not safety questions because these are just vitals of the subject being collected. If a question is a safety question and it uh, has to be synced with the safety database, then only you will mark it to be a safety question over here.